This is gonna be the most nostalgic Apex Legends video you'll ever watch. So the day is February the 4th, the year is 2019. This is when Apex officially launched. And three years ago, this game looked completely different. Since then, Apex has had 14 seasons, 14 new legends, 9 new weapons, and 3 new maps. This means that many of you guys who started playing Apex a lot later on in its life cycle might not even know what the original game looks like. But that's okay, because I'm here to remind you. So let's rewind a bit, take a look at the past, and rediscover just how beautiful Day 1 Apex really was. So just imagine this for a sec. You hear that a brand new Battle Royale FPS game is being released by the same studio that made Signfall. I mean it's really no surprise why everyone was so excited back then. So you immediately download the game and this is the first thing you're met with. Apex Legends had arrived and it was here to stay. But unlike Titanfall, the game that Respawn previously made, Apex didn't have Titans and crazy wall running abilities. But it had something even more interesting, the Legends. And since we're on the topic of Legends, the ones we all grew accustomed to didn't even exist when Apex first released. This is what the Day 1 Legend select screen looked like in Apex. I know, crazy right? Just imagine playing a version of Apex where Octane never existed, or Sarah doesn't scan you every 5 minutes, or Horizon doesn't gravity lift up to your location, or Loba's thick cheek. You guys get the point, right? This was the reality of Apex back then. And even though 8 legends at launch felt like a lot, looking back there was something so satisfying and fun about the legend composition back then. And of course when Apex first dropped, the legend meta was also completely different. Gibby for example was trash, Caustic was also really bad because fortified, the passive that Gibby and Caustic now infamously have wasn't even a thing when Apex was released. You guys might also think that Wraith and Pathfinder are really strong right now, but it pales in comparison to how they were when the game was released. Let's take Wraith as an example, she had the ability to instantly queue. So that time between when you initiate Wraith's phase and you actually go into phase, that wasn't even a thing. As soon as you hit the button to use Wraith's tactical, she would instantly queue. Not to mention she was a lot harder to hit because of a very small hitbox. And who could forget Wraith's classic Naruto run? I actually still low-key wish Respawn would bring that back. But do you guys want to know what was also really different at Apex Day 1? OG Kings Canyon. Every single day, there's a new discussion about why Respawn needs to completely vault Kings Canyon from Apex. But back then, everyone loved it. And of course, especially Skulltown. Skulltown was simply the OG HUD drop. You guys might think that Fragments East is crazy or even Estates in Olympus, but nothing compares to Skulltown when Apex first dropped. Also, if you were not a day one player or you started playing Apex after season 2, then you most likely forgot about Cascades. Even though Cascades was never as loved as Skulltown, this POI is still a symbol of old school Apex and you just had to be there to experience it. So simply put, day one Kings Canyon will always hold deeply nostalgic memories in the hearts of so many Apex players. And even though Respawn continues to release new maps, Kings Canyon will never be forgotten. Alright, so we talked about the OG legends of Apex, Day 1 Kings Canyon, but there's still something I forgot to mention. The weapons. The weapon meta back then when Apex first dropped was vastly different from what we have now. And there's one weapon in particular that no Day 1 Apex player could ever forget. If you weren't around to experience just how insane the Day 1 Wingman was, I honestly kinda feel bad for you. Honestly, thank god almost everyone sucked when Apex first released, because if that version of the wingman was in Apex right now, players would literally be rioting outside of Respawn's headquarters. No joke. So where do we even start with this gun? Well, first of all, if the clip that I showed didn't give it away, the fire rate just didn't make any sense. Not to mention, a maxed out wingman back then also had 12 bullets in the magazine. Pretty much back then, if you came across someone who was fairly good at the game and they had a wingman, you were pretty much dead. And let's not even talk about the wingman skull piercer combo. But even though the wingman back then was OP, that's exactly what made it fun. 
The fact that Apex had this insane gun that was ground floor loot that anyone could use, it always made me excited to jump back on and try to get some wingman clips. So if I had to describe to you guys what day one Apex felt like if you never played it, the game was just refreshing and it felt like an entirely new experience, probably because no other game out could come close to the gunplay and the mechanics that Apex launched with. But don't get me wrong, day one Apex was far from perfect. If you think servers are bad now, then you most likely would not have survived back then. And who remembers just how terrible muzzle flash was? Not gonna lie, that's actually one change I'm happy respawn made. But I think most of all, the game was just fun. When Apex first released, skill-based matchmaking wasn't a thing, and even if it was, it didn't matter because everyone was terrible anyway. That time in Apex was a special one. No servers, no expectations, no skill-based matchmaking, just vibes. And even though I'll probably never be able to recreate a feeling like that in Apex ever again, I hope we all get to create new experiences. So maybe one day we could look back and be like, you know what, Apex Season 17 was fire. But with that said, cheers to Apex Day 1, the only time in Apex history when everyone thought they were good.